So you're here to learn about how to solve first sides in a, using the Pythagorean theorem. So right here we have our first triangle, triangle X, and we have over here a triangle Y. So first I want to look at how do we know which side is which, right? We have two legs, right? The legs are the two lines that are closest to the right angle. We have our hypotenuse, right? Our angle C. So in the equation A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we have the two legs right here, and then we have our hypotenuse right here. I'm just going to abbreviate. So we want to figure out first where do we want to label things. So if we look at this first one here, we know that C, or our hypotenuse, is always going to be greater than the other two. We also know it's going to be opposite the right angle. So right here we can see the right angle, and it's going to be opposite over here. So we know that when we set this one up, we want to have our A squared be 8. And it does not matter which one's A and B. Right here we're going to have 6. Right? And we're going to solve for C. So from here, 8 squared is 64. 6 squared is 36. C squared, we're going to keep that the way that it is. 64 plus 36 is going to be 100 equals C squared. Now the question is, what is the square root of C squared, which is C? So if we take the square root, if we take the square root of c squared and we take the square root of the other side, we now have c equals, and the square root of 100 is 10. So in this case, this is going to equal 10. All right, next we have our triangle y. Next, we have our triangle Y. So what we want to do here is we want to look which sides are going to be which. Now, we have a 12, a 13. We can see here that the right angle is over here, and 13 is opposite that. And these definitely look like our two longest sides, right? This one and this one labeled 12 and 13. So likely we're not going to be solving for the hypotenuse here. 13 is greater than 12, so I'm going to make a bet that 13 is our hypotenuse, and 12 is one of these two. It's a squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. So next I want to take a squared plus 144 equals 169, right? 12 times 12 is 144, 13 times 13 is 169. From there, you want to subtract from both sides 144, which will leave you with a squared equals, and what we should have left over is 25. From there, if I take again the square root of A squared, I end up with A. And if I take the square root of 25, I get 5. So in this case, A is going to equal 5. So there you have it. There's the Pythagorean theorem, how to solve for a side where the hypotenuse is missing, and how to solve for and figure out when it's not the hypotenuse that is missing. If you like it, subscribe. If you want more practice problems, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Stay weird.